let's continue with our transient. Now I've drawn this circuit on the board with 20 volt with a switch. This is a switch with a resistor 4 kilo ohm and 6 microfarad. Now let me ask you when my switch is thrown to position A, can you tell that the circuit the capacitor is being charged? How do you know that it's being charged? Because I'm connecting the battery to it, right? The circuit. Now, then when I throw my switch to B, when I so throw to my switch to B, can you see that the capacitor is being discharged because the battery is being removed from the circuit already, right? So at position A, when the switch is when the switch is at position A, I'm in charging. The capacitor is being charged, right? And when it is at position B, when switch is at position B, at position B, then the capacitor is being discharged. True? Okay, so all of us got this idea. Okay, so now let's try to write expression. When the switch is at position A, when switch is at position A. I ask you to write me an expression of BC. Your answer is with bracket or without bracket. With, because it's charging, right? So it's E1 minus E minus T over time constant. Right? Then when the capacitor is already fully charged to 20 volts, then I say, okay, now the switch is thrown to position B. It's now at position B already. I ask you to write me an expression of BC. So when it's at position B, your, your switch is now here, the battery is already being disconnected, so your, your capacitor is now being discharged, so it is going to be 20 volt to 0 volt, so it's without a bracket. Without a bracket, right? So that is equal to, so that's the expression. Okay? Okay, so now we want to learn how to derive this expression using the general general uh, equation. Now this general equation can be used for all situation, for all situation, as long as you know the story, how the capacitor works. Now this general expression say Vc is equal to V infinity plus bracket V zero plus minus V infinity E minus T over time constant. Now this infinity means Finally, finally, that means finally, alright, finally. V0 plus means immediately after, immediately after, okay, okay, let's talk about the story. When my switch is at position A, position A, because I chose it here, okay, can you tell me, can you tell me finally what's the voltage here? It's 20 volt, right? Finally, it's going to charge up 20 volt. Immediately after, when the switch is thrown, because it was 0 volt, so when they throw, throw it also should be 0, then it increases by 0 volt, 1 volt, 2 volt, and then 20 volt. So if I were to write this expression, then I say, okay, VCT, finally, is 20 volt. Immediately, is 0 volt. Finally, is 20 volt. Alright, finally 20 volt. Initially 0 volt. Finally 20 volt. So with that I would have 20 minus 20 E minus T over time constant and I factorize it. That becomes like that. So do you think that this one fits into your our story just now that we, we talk about? Yeah, it fits right. Charging is an increasing function without with a bracket. Okay? Alright, so now we talk about the switch at position B. When the switch is at position B, after time constant, when the capacitor is already fully charged, I throw my switch to the B. So now my voltage here already 20 volt, and finally it's going to become 0 volt, right? Okay, so let's use this expression. Finally, uh, finally it's going to be discharged completely, so it's 0 volt. Initially, it was fully charged already, right? That initially was 20 volt. Finally, 0 volt. So 
so that becomes 20 e minus t over time constant right so it fits in it agrees with our uh, original way of explain explanation right uh, so you can see that you in order to use this equation correctly you must know the story what is the final voltage of, what is the final voltage what is the initial voltage all right and then you just plug in the value it will come out accordingly right so that's called the using the general expression to come up with your mathematical expression okay all right so let's try let's try the resistor all right if i were to ask you to write me the expression of the resistor's expression okay pr okay Right, just now we say that here is uh, 0 volt to 20 volt and it's at position A. Alright, if my switch is thrown to position A, here is 0 to 20 and here is 20 to 0. Correct? And of course, you know if I have to ask you the expression is without bracket because it's a decreasing function. Let's prove it with this expression. Right, voltage across the resistor finally is 0. Initially, 20. Finally, zero. All right. So with that, you have twenty e minus t over time constant without the bracket. Okay. Uh, so that's how we use these to derive the expression. The expression. Okay. So that is about the uh, RC circuit. Now, these simple circuits, simple series circuit, we could get the story out very quick. What if the circuit is a little bit more complicated? Okay, then the answer may not be so straightforward anymore. So now we move on to another category of circuit where it is not simple series circuit anymore. Say for example, now I have a circuit like this. Okay, this is a uh, four kilo ohm. Is six microfarad. Is eight kilo ohm. Is equal to ten kilo ohms. Right, and here is equal to twenty volts. Okay, and this is the switch. And I'm going to throw the switch at zero second. And this is VC. And I ask you to give me an expression of the VC voltage across the capacitor. And you write. Oh, you say okay, it's increasing. This is being charged. Then you write. 20, 1 minus E minus T over time constant, right? Now the answer is wrong. Why is it wrong? Because this circuit is not a simple series circuit. Not a simple series circuit, right? It is not a simple series circuit, so you therefore cannot come to the conclusion that the capacitor is charging to 20 volt. It is not. The voltage is being charged to the voltage that it is facing. So you therefore have to use Turbinate's theorem that you learned in the year one. To make the circuit into this, if you can make this circuit into this, right, and then you write down the expression VC, ah, then your answer come up very easily. Is E one minus E minus T over time constant? What is the E that is being charged? charge to ETH okay and what is the time constant the time constant is RTH times 6 microfarad now then your answer is correct alright so the challenge for us now is that when you see a transient question there is not a simple series circuit you have to make the circuit into this uh, so now we let us revise the, our Turbinist theorem on how to find ETH and how to find RTH when the circuit is not a simple series circuit. Got it? Okay, so let's try. Huh? Now, using Turbinus theorem to make the circuit into ETH and RTH, the first thing that you do is to find RTH first because I find that RTH all of you can understand very easily. So, copy the circuit exactly the same, but you kill the source. So the voltage source is already being short circuited, you kill it. And then here, and then you create a two terminals that you want. This is your two terminal. 
So here is the 4 kilo ohm, 8 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm. And then you ask yourself, what is the total resistance from this side? In other words, you are injecting current. Injecting current. Right? Assuming that there's a bar supply outside, and then you inject. Where is the third terminal that you want to remove? Is the capacitor terminal. Okay? Now, so the current goes into the 4K and then split into two currents and come back again. So the total resistance or the terminal resistor is equal to 4 kilo ohm plus 10 kilo ohm parallel with 8 kilo ohm. So you will say it's 4K plus 1 over 10K plus 1 over 8K inverse. Okay? Or some of you prefer to use shortcut, then will be 20K times 8K divided by 10K plus 8K. This is a traditional method to find the total resistance that are parallel. It's a shortcut method to find two resistors in parallel. So that's called RTH. Is that alright? So with that, I got the RTH value already. I found it, value of RTH. Okay, so now let's move on to find ETH. Now to find ETH, you actually have to draw the circuit one more time. A separate circuit, huh? Draw a separate circuit. So to find ETH, I draw the circuit, I duplicate it again, the same, with two terminal. So this is 10 kilo ohm, this is 4 kilo ohm, this is 8 kilo ohm, and this is 20 volts. ETH is the voltage across the two terminal. Two terminal. Then you ask yourself, why is this voltage? Now, in this simple series circuit here, the 20 volt current come out from the 20 volt battery, go through a 10k and then go through an 8k and then come back. Is there any current passing through the 4k? No, the answer is no. No current passing through it. So ETH is just the voltage across the 8 kilo ohm. So ETH is the voltage across the 8 kilo ohm. Why is it so? Because there's no current passing through here, it's 0 ampere. Yeah? So the voltage here is 0 volt. 0, V, I, V equal to I times R, so it's 0. So ETH is just a voltage across 8 kilo ohm. Now, you can use Ohm's law to find I times R. I is equal to, total voltage is 20. The total resistance is 10K plus 8K. Why? The 4K is not involved. It's not involved in the circuit. The circuit the current only passes through 10K and 8K. And the Resistance is 8K. Right? So you get your I times R. Or some of you prefer to use voltage divider. Voltage divider say in a series circuit, if you are interested in finding the voltage across one of them, you take it divided by the total resistance. Alright? So this is the voltage divider method. This is the Ohm's law method. The, the answer is exactly the same. Exactly the same. Right, so with that, I found my ETH. So once I get my ETH and my RTH, I can find my time constant and I can get my expression easily. In other words, what I want to tell you is when the circuit is not a simple series circuit, you must think of uh, simplifying the circuit into a simple series circuit before you can get the answer. Okay? So let me ask you, let me ask you if I give you an example whether you need terminus theorem or not. The answer is yes or no, right? So let's try. Okay, so if you have a circuit like that, like that, like that, like that, okay, it's got a 40 volt, it's R1, R2, R3, all the values are given, and here's 6 microfarad, then you ask to find VC, okay? Do you think you need terminus theorem? No, the answer is no need because it's a simple series circuit. So the expression is just E bracket 1 minus T minus T over time constant. What's that E? It's equal to the 40 volts. Right? What's the time constant? Total resistance multiplied total capacitance. Right? So that's the expression for your VC. Okay? Right, now what if I change the circuit a little bit? Alright, I give you all the values, 
this R4. Then I say, okay, find me the expression for BC. Right? Then you write down like this, 40, 1 minus E minus T over time constant, and you write down 40, 1 minus E minus T divided by the total resistance, you see it's equal to R1 uh, plus R2 plus R3 plus R4, then multiplies C, 6 micro. Okay? If you write things like that, this is wrong. Right? Why is it wrong? Because this is not a simple series circuit. So what must you do? You must simplify this into Calvinian's theorem. Right? So in other words, the first thing that you need to do is to find RPH and EPH. You must make a circuit into this. Right? ETH and RTH. Only then you can come up with the expression quickly. Right? You say VC equal to E1 minus E minus T over time constant. Plus E, it will be ETH. Okay? What is your time constant? RTH times 6 microfarad. Correct? And then comes the question of how to find RTH. And then you go back and think about what we said just now. How to find RTH. You draw a circuit, short circuit the source, and inject current and imagine how the current flow and therefore how to find the total resistance from these two terminals. Yeah, can you still remember? <coughs> okay, so you see my R4 and I kill the source. So my total, my RTH will be equal to R2 plus R4. So there's R2 plus R4 plus R1, sorry. R1, R2, R1, R3, yeah? so it's R2 plus R3 plus R1 parallel R4, so that's the RTH, okay, how to find ETH, put in the battery, okay, and ETH now is the voltage across which resistor, it's the voltage across R4, no current passing through this, so it's only so you ETH is equal to voltage across R4. So you use I times R4. Yeah? How to calculate I? This I, yeah? I is equal to E, total voltage divided by total resistance. In this case, it's only R1 and R4. Yes, times R4. Alright? So what I've just gone through with you is the RC circuit, RC circuit. There are two types of RC circuit, one very simple series, where things come out easily and quickly. And when circuit is not a simple series circuit, you have to make it into simplified series circuit using turbulence theorem. Okay? And that's all.